Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. I'm your host, Troy Stegner. Got some more reviews for you, but before I get into those reviews, hey, go subscribe to our channel, man. It really helps the metrics. And while you're there, hit that bell icon. You'll be notified every time we put up a new art or a new video. All right, let's start with, uh, we did the number one for this last time. Uh, number two came out, and I read it. Carnage. Carnage number two. It's Carnage, uh, Black, White, and Blood. Black, White, and Blood, Carnage. So, yeah, I read it. It's, uh, if you remember right, issue one had more than one story in it. This did also. It's like they're putting a couple of short stories in each issue. So, and they have some guest writers. I know Al Ewing, uh, who's doing Immortal Hulk right now. I think he did one of the stories in here. And it's it's typical Carnage stories, just like the other ones. This one, uh, the three stories. You got Carnage Shark, My Red Hands, and My Name Is Carnage. Uh, the first one. Uh, they're actually they're they're advertising for this new title and looks like a new character, Reptile. We'll see. We'll see if that one looks good. But anyway, Carnage starts out, it's kind of, I guess Carnage, in this story, he somehow escaped to the ocean and kind of took over, I guess, a great white, uh, as you can see. Pretty bad looking. A Carnage great white shark. Carnage shark. Our shark. It's also shark. Uh, so yeah, it's, you know, the, these Guys on the boat thought they'd caught something big. No, it was Carnage. He came up and pretty much went through them all. But then, you know, he gets tossed back overboard. And uh, I'm guessing these are a bunch of Venom symbiotes or clones or he split himself or something. So, you know, he goes down and it just kind of ends with him fading to black with all the Venom stuff taking over the red for Carnage. That story, I was kind of indifferent toward. I... Didn't really strike me. If, if it had been a standalone story, I don't think I would have liked it. Uh, in this second story, the what's the name of the second one? My Red Hands. Not a bad story. He, you know, little kid, uh, stepdad is kind of abusive, abusive drunk, abusive to him and his mom. Uh, there's a, a symbiote, symbiote living in his closet, you know, Monsters Inc. style. Comes out and talks to the kid, you know, tells him. Uh, originally, the kid's scared of him, but then, you know, he, all the thing does is talk. Uh, he talks the kid into, his dad comes in to, I'm guessing to beat him some more, because that's what abusive drunks do. The symbiote kind of talks him into killing dude. And uh, the next <laughs> next panel you see, he's running out with blood-stained hands and trailing blood out. Uh, he goes out to... The farmhouse, and for some reason, I, I, I haven't connected it yet. I, I don't understand. He has Spider Man all hemmed up. And, uh, you know, the kid is hesitant. He's trying to talk the kid into killing Spider Man. He, he doesn't want to do it. <clears throat> Spider Man pops loose and just really lays into uh, Carnage. And, yeah, then the kid kind of backs off. And, you know, and the kid's saying, hey, I don't want to kill. I just want to be left alone. That's why he took care of the stepdad. So we don't understand what's going on. And then it ends. I mean, I understand they're short stories, but they have some really abrupt endings. And uh, they leave you really, well, me, maybe I'm just not that bright. They leave me with a lot of stuff unexplained in my mind. The third story, which is the My Name is Carnage. <laughs> Listen to that one uh, with the, uh, my name is, my name is, my name is Slim Shady. Anyway, his name is Carnage. He, these guys are out there hunting for it and they don't want to go back in. They didn't get enough supplies. They keep seeing this, it's supposedly a monster, a wolf looking monster or something, but it's, it was really just Carnage going through and, you know, he's killing everybody and then at the end, uh, he, he, the one hunter tells him, hey, take me. He's like, ah, I'm not going to kill you. I'm tired of this other body. I'm kind of taking yours. And then he stalks off into nowhere. Uh, for me, I didn't care for it, honestly. I, the, the first one, like I told you, 
was okay. I was going to give it another shot uh, with the multiple stories in it. Uh, it's not really a story. It's more of just a collection of short stories, it seems. Some of the short stories are good, some aren't, and it's just, uh, it's like they're trying to catch the, I, I think they just, they're getting ready to release Love, Death, and Rockets Season 2. It, it, you know, it's something like that, uh, kind of like Black Mirror, you know, episodic, almost horror type stories, uh, all of them involving Carnage. You know, I, I, I don't know if it's just me. You guys might like it. Uh, I told you what those three stories in issue two are about. None of them really held my interest for more than a few seconds, and then it got to the end, I was, I was just meh about it. I'm really indifferent. So don't expect to see a review for Carnage Black, White, and Red number three next week because uh, I had to power through reading it, man. I just couldn't stay interested, and, and that's saying a lot since it was a short story, and I actually like Spider-Man characters. So if you, if you really dig short horror story type things, th this might be right up your alley. Uh, this is, that's basically what it is. I think the first one had two stories in it. Uh, this number two has three. Not bad stories. I, you know, I, I like more of a continuing storyline. I don't, short stories are good and they have a place. I, I, I don't like, uh, and especially when they don't really follow canon. I, I'm a big stickler for comics trying to follow canon and stay true to the characters. I, and I just don't feel that's what's going on with this one. I think it's just a bunch of horror stories that they wrote and they threw Carnage in as the monster in all of them and made it fit. Take it for what you will. That was Carnage, uh, Black, White, and Blood. That's my take on it. Uh, if, if you like that type of stuff and, you know, to each their own, different strokes, then pick it up. I, it's just not something I like, so I'm probably not going to review number three next when it comes out. So, sorry guys. And that is my review for Carnage Black, White, and Bloody number two. If you like that review, if it helped you at all, uh, subscribe, man. Like I said earlier, it helps with the demographics a ton. Go tell your, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mom, tell your dad to come and subscribe and tell them to hit that bell icon right there. They'll be notified every time we put up a new video. And until you get that new video, later nerd. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or read? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.